Hey guys, this one I will allow. Policemen in Anambra state in panic mode as unknown gunmen intensify attacks. People don't they fear now. They don't know who will be the next person in line. Gunmen masquerading as secessionists have intensified their attacks on security operatives in Anambra states. This has led to casualties on the part of police force and, in some cases, on the part of the gunmen too. Two recent attacks have shown that those behind the attacks are not relenting. In Inewi and Inobi, policemen paid the supreme price during those recent attacks. Two weeks ago, gunmen operating in Inewi attacked a police team killing one of the policemen at a junction. Sources told the incident. Sources said the incident happened at about 9 a.m. and that the attackers were repelled by the policemen to threw an improvised explosive device at the police team, leaving one of them fatally wounded. Also a week after, another police officer was feared dead as gunmen attacked another police checkpoint in Nobi, Ndemili South, local government area of Anambra State. The latest attack daily post gathered occurred at about 6.30 a.m. on Friday, August 16, at the checkpoint beside the Nobi police headquarters. It was further gathered that the gunmen engaged the policemen in a gun a uh, battle that lasted for about an hour during which one of the during which one of the policemen simply identified as Wabi was fatally injured the disease police officer was said to be the driver of one of the police vehicles just said the hoodlongs lodged in a house close to the checkpoint at the compound of a woman identified as Mama Amanda. They were said to have broken a wall through which they entered the compound and forced the residents to open the gates to drive in their cars. They were also said to have collected the, the handset belonging to the residents and forced them into a room and warned them not to raise the alarm failing which they would be shot. The report also quoted high witnesses' account as explaining that the hoodlongs captured a young man said to be given an, an errand that Friday morning, adding that the hoodlongs had in their possession objects said to be snipers, AK-47, chains, among others. In both accounts, the police command headquarters in Anambra confirmed the development. The state police command spokesperson, S.P. Tochiku Ikenga, while reacting to the first attack on Newi, said the men were attacked at a checkpoint at Omwata Junction, okay, along the Newi Oba Road. Manhurt operation has commenced. And it is led by Assistant Commissioner in charge of Inewi Area Command. The command is already working with the locals in the area to unmask and apprehend the attackers. Just as the manhunt was going on, the second attack happened. Ikenga, who confirmed it, said, It is true, one policeman was killed and there is an operation going on in that area now, which the Commissioner of Police has ordered. Many are now of the opinion that the attacks are being carried out by secessionists. By reacting to the claims, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, allege that it established the Eastern Security Network, ESN, as an armed vigilante, vigilant, vigilante group to dislodge the Fulani terrorists masquerading as s -men in Biafra land not to confront the Nigerian security forces. In a statement issued by the IPOP spokesman, Emma Powerful on Monday, he said that the Fulani 
were a major threat to the indigenous people and the communities in Nigeria. He alleged that those masquerading as the Fulani men were responsible for the mass murder of defenseless communities in Nigeria. The statement reads, they are responsible for the mass abductions and rape of women in Nigeria. They are behind the kidnapping for ransom and human organ trafficking in Biafra land and in Nigeria with murderous Fulani security agents in Nigeria. In order to defend the defenseless Biafrans, the IPOP leader Mazinam de Kano, in collaboration with IPOP family worldwide, established the Eastern Security Network, ESN, in December 2020 as a, as a child of necessity to checkmate the, the activities of Fulani terrorists, nicknamed Hesmen in Biafra land. The mandate given to ESN operatives was to control the, uh, this lodge and remove terrorists maiming and destroying Biafra farms and farmers. The ESN operatives have never deviated from their mandate of protecting Biafra, bushes and forests and people. On the other hand, IPOP as a movement remains non-violent and peaceful in all our activities since the formation of IPOP. Any day IPOP decides to move into arms struggle, or uh, into um, the world we know and the Nigeria government we know as well. ESN operatives are not after the Nigerian security forces. So guys, this is coming from IPOP, okay? After all this happened, you know, anything will happen for Southeast, then go call them. So they don't talk, say not be them, their hand not they. Say, because that was not the reason why ESN and IPOP was established. You understand? So, they don't tell the Nigerian government to go look for who they buy their people and all that. They say they are hand, not they. So, not be them. You know, they buy people for Southeast. Okay? So, my people, at the drop out for you, kindly drop your comments below the comment section. I beg not forget to give it a thumbs up, share this video, let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.